hey guys welcome back so guys now we are continuing our coupon code system in laravel e-commerce series so guys now as we saw we have in previous video done with form designing and table structure which we have migrated over here so guys now let's get started to insert the data according to it so first we are going to check the products list over here first we have to fetch that and then if you required you want to add or else just leave it empty okay and then start with that so let's go to our vs code and let's move to this form first over here and here guys so here is the form our st form starts and for this coupon type we have just checked with the percentage amount okay so percentage will be one and amount will be two so this is a coupon type so before that we have to work on our products list over here so let's get back over here remove this and let's go to a controller where we have fetched that let's move to a controller and fetch all your products value okay so let's call our products products all okay done or else you can check with this where status which is zero where you are going to get method and send that let's add compact compact this product paste so let's copy this and go to this page now this is a page over here and inside this product i want to loop that so let's use for each and paste the product variable as item so let's tell product item and now over here open the option and inside this you have to call the products name so product item name and its id over here so let's copy this paste and call it id save it let's refresh Control R. Check. Okay, so these are our products who inserted over here. So whatever product you required, you can just sell search for that and add that. Done. And let's get started with that form and insert the data over here. So I'll just show you this forms and all. Okay, so let's move over here. Coupon type, which is select option and the price is input text coupon price start date and time which is date time local i have given for both done and this is the status which is checkbox and done let's go top let me just minimize with this let's type the form form and this let's make it to below let's control x and paste here as simple give the type method is equal to post post and create a url url which will be as co upon coupon hyphen store and after this please pass the csrf token laravels and then copy and make a route for it let's go to web.php and create route with the help of post method where you are going to insert in single quotes and pass the name i mean controller so let's copy that above controller same which is coupon controller at store function okay so let's copy this and move to your controller so we have already opened that and now let us create a public function public function store open so you are sending all the request right so let's call the request and here you are going to call dollar request as simple and then let's create a variable called coupon which will be a object of your coupon model done and this coupon make sure you have imported at the 
use the class over here simple so let's start with this to insert the data copy and paste it again and call your fields so what fields you are going to call your database fields over here so these are your fields so let's copy this everything and get started with so first you are going to copy this offer name is equal to dollar request of input what data you are going to get from your form let me just open this model body so let's copy this offer name and paste that so let us do the same thing for all the input fields so let me just finish with that done so these are the input fields which we have given in our form as simple you can see that product coupon code coupon limit everything that which comes over here now guys the last one which two more things which i wanted to show that is status one so as you can see over here after start date and end date you can see that status which is checkbox over here Ch status and visibility status so let's copy this and paste over here let's copy and paste two times one will be status and the second one which is visibility status let's paste this over here in your input box so this is your input status and this values are your db fields over here so these two are the fields let's get back and then we need to check that if it is checked means which will be true true means insert or else zero so if you check that status it will store one or else it will store zero so let's copy this and make the same condition for it done and then let's write a code let's call the save function to save the data and then after saving we want to return and redirect back with same message called status where you can, can tell us coupon c o u p o n coupon code added successfully and to show this status you know very well how to show that message so just need to call with that session and check with that let's type over here if session of status and if over here you have you can just show with that dot alert dot alert warning or else you can give success and where we will show the status about that a css ivn session function and inside this status save this and let's test that margin bottom three let's get back and now let's store the data guys so let's once refresh the page and then start to insert the record let's click and over here offer name so my offer name like get five percent off on all sale okay so we are not going to select any product because we are going on sale for everything so by default it will store zero as per your database structure as you can see product id default is zero okay so when you don't select anything let's create on kubel a b c d 56 and coupon limit will give five and the type of coupon type will be percentage where i am going to give 10 percent discount on any product if you purchase and start time and end time let's select today date time and then let's give the expiry date end date let's give 10 for the same time or else you can just move on with the 12 that's it save and let's 
don't show on page so let's make it hide so i'm going to select this it will be checked as one let's click on save let's see what happens now okay so you can see that product id cannot be null okay so for that make sure you are giving null also because we don't so for in some cases we don't need so at that time we want to store null values so let's make it to null let's check this as null over here and click on save let's get back let's try once again so let's click here open the model and let me click once again to save so let's click on save and let's see okay coupon code added successfully you have got the message and let's see in db let's browse here cool so guys we have completed about how to add the coupon code data and see about how to fetch this in a table format let's get back to a code and as simple you can see over here let us just get started with that designing okay so let me just create a simple table structure to show the data so let's paste that okay and now guys this is a simple table heading where i have designed with it and the table body we required over here which the data will be fetched into this table row okay so let me just give one table data and id one over here let's save and let's execute that and see this and let's refresh this page and you can find that table okay so let's fetch this record inserted record let's get back and let's go to a controller so at this controller at index function we have to fetch it let's create one coupon variable is equal to where let's type c o u p o n where i'm going to get all the detail c o u p o n give scope resolution symbol double colon and pass this variable called coupon inside this single quote and pass that let's copy this coupon in your index blade file and call the for each for each loop paste that coupon where coupon item Let's copy and you can mention that coupon item of id let's take the for each below this tr tag let's copy and call the data so if we are going to call offer name offer underscore name and then one coupon code code and then end date time save and then one action for edit and delete let's give a tag which will be edit and delete so where you can create a class for this class btn btn small where btn you can give success and for delete let's make it to danger save it and refresh okay so now let's add one more data and let's check with that get 20 percent off on red mi phone on any red mi phone where you will select that red mi v11 let's not any we are going to select one product let's make it red mi six seven eight okay coupon limit let it make it to three and then coupon type let's give in percentage we are because we are taking that let's give 20 over here because we are going to accept 20 and then start date time which will be from fourth date to 17 date that's it. let's check and save this 
So once saved, you can see that added successfully and you can see that is fetched also. So guys, let's see next video about how to edit and update and then delete this record. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.